Hey guys, Johnny here from TechMajesty.com. Today I'll be showing you how to instantly remove the Google FRP lock on the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and the S10e. This will work on all other Samsung models as well. This is the official instant Samsung FRP unlock which is exclusively available only through Tech Majesty. So as you can see, the phone is FRP locked and is asking for the Google account associated with the phone. To remove the FRP lock, you will need a Windows computer and a USB cable. Now that we have all that ready, let's begin. So now we will go on the computer and open the internet browser to go to techmajesty.com. Once we are on this website, we will place an order for the FRP unlock. We will go to the Google FRP removal service section. We will choose the Google FRP removal service. Then you will go ahead and enter your Samsung phone model. I have the Samsung S10 for example, so that's what I'll put here. After that, you will go ahead and click on the add to cart button and go through the checkout process to complete your order. Once you complete the checkout, you'll receive an email within one hour informing you that we are ready to begin the FRP unlock for your phone. The email will look like this and say order and closed. The email will contain a download link to the USB redirector, which is basically a software our technicians will use to access your Samsung phone and complete the unlock. The email will also contain a link to our live chat where our technician will be with you during the entire unlock process. The whole process will only take about 5-10 to 10 minutes for our technicians to finish working on your phone. All you have to do is plug in your phone to the computer and we take care of the rest. Now I'll show you step by step how the process will work. So this is the USB redirector software I was talking about. The first step will be where our technician will ask you to plug in your phone to the computer using the USB cable. Then step 2 and 3 will involve the technician working on your phone's unlock. Then the final and fourth step will be the FRP Google account being permanently removed from your phone. Now you can fully access and use your phone again. I will now do the final part of the process to remove the FRP lock. I have the phone connected to the computer so give me a few seconds while I do this. Okay, so now I have done the final part of the process, so now all I have to do is reboot the phone, and once the phone is rebooted, then you'll see the FRP will be removed. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn this phone back on. Alright, so now we will go through the normal setup process, but this time you will see that there is no FRP lock preventing us from accessing the phone. Now this is the AT&T version of the phone, but you can do this on any version of the phone. As you can see, the FRP lock has been removed and I can now fully access the phone. So guys, it's as simple as that to remove the FRP lock on your Samsung phone. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Thank you so much for watching.